Hi everyone, welcome to Life of Chi. This is the second part of the at home do it yourself nails. Whether you're stuck in the house because of quarantine or you're just trying to save some money or save your nails, this is a really quick and simple way for you to achieve a cute look. Let's just jump right in and get started. My nails are pretty weak from getting my nails done in the shop in the past, so I have this nail strengthener that hopefully will help with that. And I also picked up this cuticle remover just to clean things up. And these four nail polishes, there are two colors and then two top coats that I just picked up from CVS before this. I also wanted to have this acetone just nearby just in case I needed it. And I ordered these nail stickies just in case I did not want to use the glue. I did end up using the glue instead of the stickies, but I'll probably do another video about that later. These are the nail tips that I ordered. So they're not necessarily tips, like you can put this on your whole nail and they're very strong. I think they're made of plastic and they came in all of these different sizes. The packaging was a little bit broken when it came in to me, um, just to keep note, but I will have a link down in the bio of what exactly I ordered it from. And these are just the supplies that I'll be using that I used in a previous video. The first step that I'm going to do is use this instant cuticle remover. Basically, it's just like a gel that you put on your cuticles and the directions say to leave it on for about 10 to 15 seconds and then remove it with the cuticle scraper. So this is me applying it right now. So I just did one hand so you can kind of see what it looks like before and after. It's not super obvious, but I can tell the difference. It just looks a little bit cleaner and um, there's less skin, extra skin there at the cuticle. So after that, you have to wash your hands and make sure that it's dry so that you can go on to the next step. I decided to use the acetone just to double check and make sure that all the oil and everything is off my hands fully. Next, I use the nail strengthener. This one is from Sally Hansen. I haven't used it before, but it looked like the strongest one that they had. It says triple strong, and I just thought that it could help kind of keep my nails healthy underneath the uh, acrylic nail. And basically, you just add a thin layer to your nail, and it goes on just like regular nail polish. And I went ahead and painted my whole hand with this. You know you want this for this. Looking back, I'm not sure if this is the best option to use under acrylics just because it might not make the glue last as long. I'm going to be using this kiss glue again. Um, that's the same one that I used in my previous video. And here what I'm doing is just measuring the nail up to my actual nail. So as you can see, this one's just a little bit too big. So what I'll do is take my nail file and I'll shape it. So that I believe is like the smallest one in the kit or just one that's not exactly the smallest, but it works the best. Um, it's not always going to be a perfect fit. So you could always customize it yourself to make it fit better. Like this one fits perfectly now. You know you want this for this. Here's another example of me doing a fitting. So if you can see, that one's too small. So I'll pick one that's um, bigger, just the next size up. And that one seems to fit in perfectly on this nail. You know you want this for this. You wanna make sure you try it on both nails because your hands might not be the exact same. On this one, you can see that uh, inner corner is a little bit too long, so I'll have to shave that one down so that it doesn't hurt me later. Um, you don't want it to pinch your skin when you put the glue on. You know you want this for this. And that fits perfectly. So again, you want to apply the glue directly on the nail. You don't have to apply a ton, but you want to make sure that it covers the nail, um, pretty much the middle part. 
once you press the nail down on it, it will spread out a little bit so you don't need to completely cover it. So you just take the nail with the glue and your actual nail has glue on it as well, press it together, and I held it for about 10 to 15 seconds. I just like to look at it to make sure that it's not crooked and just hold it down. So here is an example. I actually am so glad that this glue doesn't dry down super quickly. As you can see, I put it down really well. Looks great, looks straight, and it's crooked. So I gotta move it real quick. And there you go, that works perfectly. Just make sure that you check it when your finger is down and when your finger is out so that it is not crooked. And sometimes you'll see there's a little bit of glue that kind of seeps out towards the ends if you might have used a little. That's fine, just press it down and then wipe the excess glue off. one hand done looks and I am loving it so far I think this is so much better than the store-bought press-ons um, they are quite long so I'll just show you how I did my other hand um, in case you're not used to having the long nails on one hand so I just went ahead and put some glue on this part now my nail is messed up I know but don't worry about that so you take a little bit of glue and then put it on the fake nail and what you want to do is hold it just like this so that it's easy to flip the nail over and press directly onto your nail. It kind of does make a difference so you don't have to fumble with it in your hand and drop it or anything. This is how the finished set looks. Uh, no nail polish on yet. It's really strong. I was actually really impressed how strong it was and it doesn't bend at all which is also really impressive and nice. As you look closer, there are little numbers that make it pretty easy for you to kind of tell what size you need for each nail in case you did want to just flip it onto the other hand. And there's these little tabs at the very top that's just a little bit sharp. I'm just gonna file those down just a little bit and um, file the sides. I still want it to be coffin, but I just don't want it to be super sharp that I'm cutting myself. So next I'm going to start painting it and this is the nail polish that I use from Sally Hansen. I got this from CVS. I think it was like $8 or something. So basically these are gel nail polishes but I don't have an LED light. So I'm using this top coat which basically um, seals it in and this is me realizing that I got two of the same thing. I meant to get one shiny and one matte but that was a mistake. That's fine. Now I just have two. So um, I did like the shape of this brush, but I thought that it was a little weird. As you can see, like it streaks a little bit, it's a tiny bit hard to paint with it, but it ends up being really pretty at the end. So I do actually like this nail polish.
so this is how it looks after two coats i love it it looks long it looks shiny and it's time to put the top coat on so i recommend opening it a little bit before you start painting your nails just because it can be kind of hard to open but i noticed that this nail polish is a little bit thick um i kind of like that because it makes it it makes me feel that it's gonna last longer but you do kind of have to have a lot on the brush so you're not smearing and um, getting the red on the clear paintbrush This is the finished product. I could not be happier. I think this looks absolutely amazing. Okay, period. What I love about this is that all the nails are long, including the pinky. However, I was thinking I might cut that one just a little bit shorter, but I ended up not cutting it because I did like it. But maybe next time I do it, I will cut it. So you made it to the end. That was super quick, super easy. It took me like less than an hour to do all this. Uh, like and subscribe if this helps you out you can hit that notification bell and thank you so much for coming around to my channel again i'll see y'all around bye